Well, let's go to former NYPD police commissioner or New York police commissioner, Howard Safer. Howard, you've been hearing a lot of this back and forth. A lot of people are going to tr try to look at the timeline of events and say how we could have pulled this off, especially uh, given the fact that so many kids after the fact were not surprised it was this guy. What, what, what do you think? Well, you know, it's easy to have hindsight, but Absolutely. what we have to do is uh, we have to fix the system. And, you know, one of the things that occurred to me is we have a sexual predator list in every community. Uh, law enforcement should have a list of those who had mental treatment and not for dissemination and not outside of law enforcement. But certainly we should have some early warning system because there was plenty of warning here, but there was no system in place to do anything about it. Now, I, the, the gun laws that exist, you hear those advocating that you, we don't need more laws. We just need to be enforcing the ones already on the books, including those mentally ill, cannot get a gun as things stand now. But uh, they're, if they're not classified that way or no one has gotten word to authorities that someone uh, is that way or of that mind, uh, they'd never know, right? That, that's true. That's, that, that's why we need to document and document for law enforcement people who have this kind of mental treatment or, the, or, or this kind of incidents reported. We, we also have to do something about our insane gun laws. I mean, the fact is there should be a reenactment of a, an assault weapons ban. Uh, having a AR-15 in the hands of this individual is just outrageous. You know, that's another thing I thought of, too. I mean, we know the genesis of a lot of this, and we're going to ownership to protect us, obviously. Um, you know, from evil overseers and all of that, and I, I understand that. But it is now morphed into protecting all types of advanced weaponry that can fire, you know, multiple rounds a second, way beyond what were the issues addressed back in the days of that amendment. So uh, pulling that away or dialing it back is a Herculean task, yet for Democrats as well on this issue beholden to the Hollywood community and violent games, movies, that sort of thing, are reluctance to take them on. Should it be a two-pronged approach? It, it should be. And, you know, w we should make sure that weapons that are out there are really used for sporting purposes, that there are not multiple magazines, that there is not multiple ability to have these uh, stocks on the back that make you enable you to do this faster. But we have to have some control. You know, I have advocated in the past that we have a requirement each year that every gun owner come in for a safety inspection to show that his gun is still in his possession. Because a lot of these guns, although this one was purchased legally, uh, a lot of these guns are diverted to people who have no business carrying them. So we, we really have to reevaluate how we're dealing with assault weapons and how we're letting people with mental illnesses go unreported and we really have to have some kind of database where we will know when these uh, kind of things are happening i mean in this case the fbi had a report about it but they really had no method to really do something about it in advance yeah or to track that individual down howard thank you very very much